waiting. <laughs> Fish. fish shadow. Another fish. Yep. Oh. Couple fish shadow. That's just. Or maybe it's just multiple shadows from one fish. Oh. Oh. It's the same one. He's following. We're following it. Uh, front row, if you're ready, introduce yourselves. I'm Trevor. Uh, I'm on board as an ROV pilot, and when I'm off the ship, I'm an unemployed ROV pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Elias Adidion. And um, I'm on board as a navigator and the mapper. When I'm on, off board, I'm a graduate student at the University of New Hampshire, and I'm majoring in ocean engineering, ocean mapping. I'm gonna read Rob's get, get mind. Zoom, right there. zoom in on the thing. Go ahead, Dave. Another worm tube with hydroids. Worm tube. Worm tube. I don't know if there is a worm in, in <laughs> but... Do, do I, your I, worm call. <laughs> 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 blah, blah, blah. All right, thank you. If, thank if you. Karen were on watch, she'd do it. What's the worm call? Well, she's the whistler. She can call it Oh, out. yeah, she can whistle like a pro. The worm whistler. I remember I overheard Steve saying on the last watch that like you can't really tell if there's anybody living in there or not. Oh. Oh yeah, we have two more people that need to introduce themselves. Annabelle, Dave. Annabelle, go ahead. Annabelle's writing something down, so maybe you, Dave. Dave Robertson, lead video engineer on this expedition, uh, training two new guys, got an intern and a broadcast engineer that is the first time out on the ship, uh, so that occupies a lot of my time and uh, my sleep time. But uh, they're trained up pretty well now, so I'm getting better sleep. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when I'm not on the ship, I'm retired. Mm -hmm. Excellent. When you're retired, every day is Saturday. It's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't, I don't think Dave ever sleeps, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're awarded that luxury. Uh, if you were looking for me at breakfast this morning, you didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Annabelle's turn. Oh, okay. Hello, um, I'm Annabelle. I am the ROV intern here and the Atalanta pilot. Um, I am an undergraduate student studying ecological engineering at Oregon State University. And she's doing great as an intern. Thank you. She's a beaver believer. <laughs> beaver or Bieber? Like I heard, Justin I heard Bieber. Bieber yeah. oh, <laughs> the Oregon, no, the don't Oregon put those State words in Beavers. Now, I'm an Oregon part time <laughs> Oregon resident, and their fans are known as Beaver Believers. So for now, you can keep calling in steps okay. when, the, when the ship's close to finished. Okay, yeah, we stay about 8 meters. Yeah, cool. Okay. When, whenever you think, just oh, okay. before they reach the end. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I saw Benny once. What? Who? Just once? Benny the Beaver. Just once. Yeah. Benny on, the Beaver. On campus? Did you go to a football on, game? Or? On campus. Nah, he was just walking around. Oh, okay. Is it a real beaver or a, a person <laughs> no, in a it's, suit? It's, it's a man in a suit. <laughs> For those of you watching at home, if you're on nautiluslive.org, we have a chat that you can ask us questions and we'll answer them. Feel free to do so, it is open. Um, we are currently 2,780-ish meters. Um, exploring a star-shaped seamount in the southwest area of the Johnson Atoll unit. We've been down here for like a couple hours at the floor, looking at sand. Trevor, has this flattened down a little bit, you think? Uh, maybe since that first little micro cliff, yeah. but it's not flat. Okay, now it seems like a lot of, a lot of animal tracks here. Another fish? Oh, shrimp. Is that shrimp? Shrimp? It's, oh, shrimp? it's a shrimp count. I'm looking super far up now into the Ooh, light bar, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that. Hopefully that gives you some perspective there, eh? Yeah. 
And not too many uh, ripples here. I have a vocab word, bioturbation, which is the, the causation of the tracks. When critters are scooting around. Yeah, actually, you know, they're oftentimes in funnel. I don't know what that means. Li living inside the sediment. Stick their heads out once in a while, like the acorn worms. You saw them the yeah. tracks before. They oftentimes well, the, are into the sediment. The cucumbers can make tracks, yep. no? Yeah. Yes. I'm just throwing out vocab words yeah. here. Another worm tube here. Another tube worm. Tube worm. Did you want to zoom on this tube worm? We got mm, nothing else to look at? No. <laughs> All right, no zoom. Tube worms are dead to her. Is this tube worm dead? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a tube worm or a worm tube? I, I was, I said it a worm tube. I was, I wonder if it's no longer inside. Knock on the door. Suck it out like a spaghetti straw. Spaghetti straw. You've never had like a hollow spaghetti used as a straw at like a bougie coffee shop? I've used Twizzlers like that or red yeah, vine. Yeah, but never like a hollow spaghetti noodle. I, I had this <laughs> back in like 2016. They were way ahead of their time. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay. Yeah. Question in the chat is, what's your favorite thing to do while off watch on the ship? Does anyone wanna? I like to draw, I'm an illustrator, so I sketch in my sketchbook a lot. I like long walks on the beach, <laughs> sunsets. <laughs> long walks on the deck, <laughs> in circles. Short, short walks on the deck. Short yeah. walks on the deck. <laughs> Just lapping it. <laughs> I like to watch the ocean. Mm-hmm. And the sunset. Mm-hmm. And dance. Oh, and yeah, you dance. And dance. Oh, the squat lobster Zumba. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the squat lobster Zumba, is that what we're calling it? That's what we're calling it now. <laughs> I would say my favorite thing is watching the stars at nighttime up on the yeah. monkey deck. Nice. They were spectacular last night, weren't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. Wow. And the Perseids meteor shower is out right now, so... We've been seeing all kinds of shooting stars. It's been phenomenal. When have you been seeing them? Do you think we'd see them after this watch? Yeah, yeah. I saw them like, well, yeah, I saw I them at 10-ish, but probably later. Rumor has it the peak is tonight. Oh, oh really? Rumor has it I'm going to stay up late tonight. Well, I mean, we're up till 12 anyway. Yeah. I bet 12 would be a prime time. I think 12 would. Yeah. As fingers crossed, no clouds, though. Naps exist for a reason. Maps? Naps. Oh, naps. <laughs> naps. <laughs> and maps. Also maps. And maps. <laughs> Yeah, then we know where the Look at uh, this thing. Go to zoom on this, Dave. Yeah, let's see what that thing is. Jelly. Go ahead. Dead center. Well, I, I think. Ah, see if I can keep it in frame. Turn on down light as well. What is it? Is it a shrimp? It's a Monopsis isopod. Okay, oh. that's it. Yeah. There uh, it goes. Very cool animals. Oh, bye. 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 Did, Thank it, you, Dave. did it have long little. Whisker or ten antennas? Or antennas and very long, long legs. Ooh. Oh, that is a fish. I wonder what that was on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, Trevor, but you're not looking. But anyway, a little fishy there. Can okay. we zoom on it? Tripod yeah, fish, it. maybe. Yeah, he's swim, can, he's can swimming can away from us. Try to zoom on him. Uh, go for it, Dave, whenever you think. He's got a little, they got this little white what do you thing. Got? What's on your head, buddy? Oh, 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 oh no. What's on its head? It's swimming in place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. No, it's landing. Sorry. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, oh. Thanks. Cinema can. I can't believe how much sediment oh, we almost is here. Got it's right on the porch. Can. Oh, it went right underneath her. Perfect. That's a good spot. It's better <laughs> than in her. Just hope it doesn't get stuck inside. 
Yes. Okay. Oh, if, if you no. want, since we have rocks here. Can you grab a rock? <laughs> sure. Okay. What kind of rock? <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Okay, well, there's a sponge over on the right there. You circle the rock you want me to try, and I'll try it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get, uh, the, uh, I don't know, there's one down here, is that too fast? I mean, you can just Ooh. drop in and we'll see. Yeah, what looks if like I, what this may going? be a get or two. I love it. That one looks stuck. Maybe the one on the left, angular? Sure, let's get that one. Is that one okay? Yeah. I see what you're saying. Can I get bubble on craft, please? Roger. It's going to be thin, but bonk. Is it, is it okay? Yeah, well, can, can you lodge that one underneath there? Ooh, I have that big one fall on me? Absolutely. That'd be fun. <laughs> you know I want to do that, Rob. <laughs> Were you one of those kids on the side of hills like that to kick stuff down? No, I was too responsible. I say on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at you. That'll be fun. Why not? All right, go ahead and zoom there, Dave. Nope, just kidding. Oh. Come wide. Goodness gracious. Do you want Who's me to put bubble on the porch? Uh, I just want to tip down, down see if I can get there in time. Uh, I wish I wouldn't just drop stuff. That's not as good for well, sampling it. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. That's very true. Um, ooh, it's conveniently right on all the camera lenses, so it's got to be moved anyway. Oh, this is a, this is not a fun grab. Oh, oh. no. What's he doing? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, no. Go away. Just go away. Yeah, I'm over it. I'm sorry. I gotta move. Okay. Maybe that rock would have been bad anyway. Yeah, terrible rock. Bad yeah, rock. it was really unimpressive. I was going to say, you were really into that one big rock last time oh, that yeah. ended up being a bad rock, so. I mean, right, you never up. know. Was it really a bad rock? It, was just didn't, it just didn't work out, I think, is really the issue. Can, can we explain the difference between a good rock and a bad rock? A bad rock wears a leather jacket <laughs> and rides a motorcycle. No. Uh, this is what I came here for, Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> But actually, can we explain it? I mean, it, it for <laughs> for us cruising this expedition, what we're really interested in is finding uh, relatively fresh rocks. So with a relatively fresh rock, it doesn't have a lot of alteration in it, and it gives us a really good, uh, a better chance to get the geochemistry, as well as get an age date on the rock. So we get an age of the, you know, the volcanism on the seamount here. But they're all good rocks. Even that that squishy one. That, that you said was the big one? Oh, because it had the crystals in it? Yeah, it had some interesting hornblende crystals, which I didn't expect mm -hmm. at all. I mean, all right, Rob, uh, long. we're good to camp, get some more rocks. There's some more coming up just out sure. of frame right now. Feel free to shout out if you see one. Just wanted to get stretched out there again. Yeah, it looks like there's a pile up in here to, to get something. Real quick, Annabelle, you have a shout out from OSU, Southern Neighbors, Lake Shasta. Hey, can I please get bubble hey! on gauges, Annabelle? Bubble on what? Gauge? Gages. Yes. Gotcha. Sorry, Rob, we're going to yeah. keep moving. Sure. And can you tip down on the gauge panel, please? Yeah, that's what about the gauge? Oh, tip down on it? Yeah. Okay. That's a nice little lava, lava flow, oh, too. Oh, it goes the other way. Roger. Good there. Well. Oh, yeah. You want to get a zoom on that? Yeah. Can we... It is possible to zoom this area, if not... Uh, not this second, sorry. Okay. I'm just doing a little vehicle thing here. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Chat saying that fish with the white on its head was in Ipnops, I P N O P S. Ipnops? Yes. Oh, They're kind of cool looking. Is that like a bioluminescent feature on top of its head, or is it just... I don't know. It, it says it's... Google says it's a type of tripod fish. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't seen many of those. 
I guess we that, the Hellasaurus. Step under that 50. Uh, stand by. Okay. Yeah, they have this, like these here. structures that are uh, light sensitive, and it could be to detect preys that are bioluminescent. That's the white stuff on its head? Yes. Cool. Uh, Very cool. I'm write that down. Down. Yeah. Yeah, we are. There may have been one just below that, too. Floors, view. Did I pronounce it right? Ipnops? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Totally. Uh, there's nothing in place. I mean, nothing to get here. Unless it's off to the left up here. Sorry, what's that, Rob? I mean, the only thing I'd probably see is up to the left up here. These rocks over here will be just too, uh, too okay. in place. Yeah, it looks a little more of a callus. Ten more missiles to go. Uh, we can go, yeah, we can okay. do another step. Thank you. I mean, if you were in a position to grab a rock. I am now in a position to grab a rock, yes. Looks like some of these are pretty potentials. Okay. All right, I'll take bubble on craft, please. Roger. Again, I'm not sure if this is a gettable one. Oops. Looks like it's pretty free off the ground. Yeah, I think so. For those of you watching at home, look on channel three. You can see Trevor maneuver maneuvering oh the arm. No. It's really cool. Pressure's on, Trevor. All eyes on you, Trevor. That's, that's a keeper. Good rock? It's a rock. I mean... All right. Uh, I don't like to be just a red box, please. Is it possible to get that rock in gotcha. view and get a spin on it before uh, we... Sorry, too late now. Where's it going? Let's do A. Oh, a little further. That good? Yeah. Sorry, Maranke, I should have done that. That's okay. back in. Yep. Great. Thank you, Trevor. Whatever you're ready. Okay. Moving along. Yeah, that was pretty much a metallic pile next to some uh, sheet flows. Oh, look how nice those rocks look. Confirming that that went into Starbird Biobox A. Trevor? Confirming that that rock is in A in the starboard bio yes, box? it's in A, yeah. Okay, thanks. A good question in the chat. Do you think there are bigger deep sea animals that avoided discovery because your explorer equipment is seen as a predator with its size and bright lights? Well, so Hercules is very bright and it's also very loud, so it does tend to uh, scare away some of the, the fish and like bigger swimmy creatures. Um, but there's plenty of, you know, biology out there that we aren't, that we haven't discovered yet, which is one of the reasons why we are um, exploring these seamounts. Okay. Can I get a front porch, please? Okay. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's so cool. Okay. There's a shrimp in the cinema can. Add it to the count. Trevor, people in the chat think you're cool. Hmm. It's kind of cool to watch Trevor in the booth. It's almost like he's doing Tai Chi or yoga. <laughs> yeah, like, like, can I talk to Dave? Like, 
you can just tell him to eat. Like, it does not matter. Like, you know, if he wants to take it. You can talk to Dave's video one. Yeah. Wait. You got a fish? Fish. Oh, is that Burr? it right there? Where'd it go? Right here, all day. So for that inops, in, Ipnops fish, the white things are its eyes. Go ahead and zoom here, Dave. They're grid-eyed fish, apparently. Yeah, that's right, right. We were just trying to find some things. Get a zoom in there. Well, yeah. so what's that spicules down there? Assess victims. Spicules. Pickles. Oh. <laughs> no pickles. Potential victims. Uh, no victims yet. Rest of sponge or something. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, come wide, please. Oh, we got another smoky push core. What the heck's going on with these push cores? Not enough hockey tape? Oh, it's flapping out of the flapper. Oh. Let's go see this ridge. Yeah, it's steep. Ridge thing, ridge feature. Elias, I think we could transition to tracking a line. Okay. Yeah, this is going well, so let's do that. Which point whenever two. the whenever the time is. Point two, right? Yeah, point two is good. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, so going up this sedimented slope of uh, sheets and uh, chunks of uh, blocks. We're now at a depth of 2,717 meters. So we've collected a rock already and a, a push core sample, so like a sediment sample. Um, science, what else are we looking to collect? So we are looking for uh, new potential new species, potential and uh, new records that uh, for uh, all the species with narrow distribution ranges. Also, there are uh, scientists in our program of uh, scientists assured that requested some associate, associated animals living in black corals. For instance, we have a petition of a worm living on a particular species of black coral. And I'm interested in squat lobsters because um, most of the species uh, uh, we are finding in this area are new records. Some of them are potential new species to be described to science. And yeah, this kind of cool things. This big rock over here. Uh, it is. It is a big rock, and it's over here. <laughs> nice find. Big rock over there. Oh. Starboard bio box could fit in it.
Is that something in the middle of the ridge of rocks, the orange? The little orange thing? That might be an exposed part of the rock itself. We can have a quick look, though. Can we zoom in there, please, Dave? It's a rock. It's that coarser material with the uh, weathered rock underneath there and the orange. So the basically rusting. Oh, hmm. so is there the, the the crust over it still? All right, thank you. It looks like it came away a little bit, but it, that it almost has a, a phosphoritic look to it too. Some of the weathering products. Can you make these trails a little longer, please? The uh, the dot dot dots. Dust. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I Also looks like there's no dead reckoning trail length right now. Yeah, does that does that change it? How much? Yeah, oh, there might be some things on these rocks up here c coming into view shortly. Ooh, a lot of rocks. This ridge line, Rob? Yeah, just a. Oh yeah. Let's see what's there see if there's anything holding fast there. Really surprised there aren't more uh, sponges or something. No, it does not change it. Yeah, I just wonder if it's too steep that things keep sliding down and not allowing things to get established. Oh, that's an interesting thought, yeah. It's gonna get steeper here pretty quick. Roger. Pulling up on Delta. What if you make that like 5,000? Seriously, I don't know what, hap what happens. Mm. There are some dots there. Maybe it was only displaying five dots. We want more than ten. So, what what's been everybody's favorite thing we've seen so far throughout the sure. whole entire expedition? It used to draw a line, didn't it? I like the whale bones the other yeah. day. We can't hear you, Rob. We couldn't hear you. I like the whale bones the other day. I love the it's little... It's because I had oh. my hearing turned <laughs> off by accident. Sorry, everybody. I thought that hermit crab with the anemones was so cool. Yeah. The, yeah. the one this morning? No, it was like an hour saw. ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it was more than an hour yeah. ago. Yeah. I got my Two hours ago? days off. <laughs> <laughs> was morning. it yesterday? <laughs> was it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd never seen something like that before, so that was really cool. Um... I don't know, I love seeing kyostylids or kyostylids. Um, what are those? Those are uh, these squat lobsters living on chrysogorgids or black corals. The, the ones we couldn't catch? The ones, <laughs> they, they it's, escape. It's always the ones that get away that are the favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, the the harder the better, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go with the whale bones too, because if you were listening to our very first watch, you remember that I've seen two whale falls. Oh. So I seem to attract them, and I, I'm not gonna claim this one completely, but a little bit, I'll say I did it again. <laughs> Are you counting the whale bones as a whale fall, though? It's not a full whale fall, but it is a fragment of a whale. It's like a whale trip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I liked the, well, obviously the Chanakops, um, but putting that one aside, I liked the sorcerer eel in that first watch, mm -hmm. um, and then that hermit crab with the anemone on its back just a few hours ago. Yeah, you all saw a lot of Chanakops, too. Like, yeah, team so far this whole expedition, there's been three. Okay. Um, one from another watch, and then two from our last dive. I'm really surprised there aren't more holothurians here. Mm. What are those? The sea cucumbers? Oh, we do have something down here to oh. zoom in on. A feature. All right, let's check it out. There was a couple downslope in the sediment, but it's been a while. Can we have a zoom, please? Uh, is it a sponge? Dead sponge. Dead sponge. Dead sponge. Dead sponge. But dead sponge the the are interesting too because sometimes they have animals inside. Oh. Uh, what kind of sponge is this? Look, some something is in there. Is it? Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for this. Zoom. What's off to the right side? Yeah, there's a couple things on it. I think yeah, there are hydrates. barnacles. Oh, okay. Ooh, right, barnacles. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. We saw biology. It looks like of. we have a little stock thing in the cinema cam, too, up to the right. Oh, and a shrimp. But it, it's hard to see in the normal Hercules cam. I think the the favorite thing I've seen so far was those really beautiful coral gardens on the oh, slopes. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. That yeah. was amazing. I forget about, like, the scenery as a whole when I try to think of, like, highlights in my head, but that was definitely really cool. And the corals were big. It was taller than Hercules. Yeah. And, Rob, you thought that was a crater in that last dive, right? Yeah, I think it may have been the edge, uh, the edge of a crater where the flows were coming out. Really interesting overhang there. On the left there? No, no, but in no the I was previous, about the previous dive. But that oh, is an yeah. interesting overhang too. <laughs> Not as interesting. Not as interesting. It's so, all right, I guess. Speaking of craters and overhangs, when these seamounts form, it's it's like lava and magma coming up, right, and kind of cooling and going down. Is it? Look, does it look like a, a land volcano when the lava comes out, or is it? It's it's close. I mean, but instead of going through the air, it hits the water and it cools much faster. And so, to get these sheet flows, you get okay. a lot of you know volume cool. of magma coming out. Thank you. To have this sort of thing. So are these like super super powerful when they do? Well, when mean, they were erupting. I wouldn't say powerful in the eruptive sense that you think about, mm -hmm. because that's a different kind of eruption. But uh, at least, you know, if it's deep underwater. So these are kind of more of a large volumes coming out. Yeah. But if you do get near the shallow water, some of the gases can come out and you get some real uh, interesting eruptions. I mean, there have been a couple over near the uh, Fiji and Tonga Kermadec area where, you know, some people actually were, uh, were killed when they're on the uh, walking around on these that were near the water. Mm. Yeah, as someone that doesn't really like study the formations of seamounts and stuff, it's hard to imagine lava kind of flowing underwater because, you know, water puts out fire in the simplest sense. Yeah. I would love <laughs> to see that. That would be the most incredible ROV dive ever. Yeah. 
Would Hercules be able to handle it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Well, Would it be I'm, steamy? I mean, well, Hercules already dives on hot vents, hydrothermal vents, which oh, are not true, really yeah. flowy. They're more off-gassing. Well, well, for comparison, if you go to Hawaii, they have film of uh, lavas going into the ocean. And they create these the, the pillow lavas and the lava tubes, like you see. And there's like you know boiling water and, and cracking and popping and stuff like that. Pretty spectacular stuff. So I assume it'd be something, something like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I just can't wrap my mind around it. <laughs> a cool question, a good question in the chat. The water samples that you collect at this depth is there microscopic life, like bacteria we see on the surface, or is it mostly plankton and dead particles? Um, again, that's a good question. I think the plankton or the bacteria are different here uh, at, this, at this depth that the, Oops. the ones we, the we find at the surface. But the, the water samples are for DNA studies. Mm -hmm. So they are looking for um, fragments or DNA from the corals to be able to uh, detect the species that we cannot see with ROV images. Yeah, so think about it like um, like dust almost, right? Mm -hmm. How there's all these you know particles that fall off of people and pets and stuff floating around. Okay. So eDNA stands for environmental DNA. Yes, uh, it's eDNA that are part of the organic matter, mucus of corals or rest of the organism that are in, in the column of the water near the coral reefs or the this agrup agrupations of corals. Um, and yeah, they remain a, a particular amount of time. As uh, deep sea is very cold, uh, the DNA is uh, more conserved if, if it's warm water, for instance. Mm -hmm. Can I get a USBL reset, please? Okay. TBL reset. I have a question for Maronke. Hello. That's from my own brain. Okay. Um, you keep mentioning science manager. Yes. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> what will you do? You manage the science. No. <laughs> um, well, kind of. Basically, you work with the lead scientists and also the guest scientists to ensure that all the samples that we want for our particular crews are collected and organized and stored accordingly so that we can get them to all the folks who want to use them on land. We also help train the ocean science interns. How's that going? It's going well. <laughs> Bronwyn is a rock star. So is this with OET or is this in any? This is with OET. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what drew you to science management? What drew me to science management? That's a good question. Um, well, I was an ocean science intern in 2021 and I really enjoyed my time with OET and I wanted to come back and work with OET more and I didn't want to do internships anymore. <laughs> so I applied for the science manager position and I was lucky enough to get it. Very cool, I just highlighted that, so. <laughs> highlighted, oh, science manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if I spelled your name wrong. Oh, I was trying to go real fast. It's correct. Oh, yeah. Nice. I thought there was a five in there, but it's <laughs> silent. <laughs> so how do they work with the uh, your schooling with this position? So I am currently taking a month off of my PhD to finish this position. So before I got on the ship, I was processing my own samples. I was doing 12-hour days for two weeks straight to get my genetic sequencing samples processed and then because I had to send them across the country and then they're further processed at Dalhousie University and I get the data back in about three months. <laughs> so before leaving my PhD advisors were obviously like you better finish these samples and I did. It's a juggling act. So you are managing your own science. You were already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> now you just are managing other people's science. Yeah. And, and then and kind of your own science. You're doing some science here. 
And when I get back to land in September, I'll be back to managing my own science. Is it, you know, you were working by yourself. Is it like lonely now that you ha are experiencing working with like a team? Not really, um, because a lot of the science in a PhD you do do alone, but there are tons of oh, other okay. PhD students around nice. and we have a communal cubicle area where we all hang out. So it's not too lonely. That's good. Yeah, this area looks a lot like where we started the dive at uh, yeah. the very beginning. We've been halted. Are we waiting for like a ship move or something? Or are we just going really slow? There we go. Holy moly, Butterfingers on the mute button. Um, we're just going slow. Uh, oh. I was really <laughs> stretched out. I was pulling my leash, which was not the right thing to do. So I slowed down a bit, let Atalanta catch up. And now we're going to continue. We're also side hilling here. We're not going straight up the slope, so it may look a little slower because mm. our horizontal mm -hmm. speed will be the same, but our vertical speed is obviously nothing. So it'll look a little slower going. It's a fine line between going fast enough that we make progress and going slow enough we can still sample. It's a How? Hard, hard balance to strike. How fast can we go if we want to really, like, book it? Oh, really fast. Really? Yeah, we can move definitely a knot. Right now we're going 0.2. I vote worms. Yeah, I think some of them do have that acorn worm back and forth look to them. But no acorn worms here. I'm surprised. Apparently there's videos online of underwater eruptions. Um. There was one recently in Canary Island, El Hierro. Mm -hmm. Done by MBARI. 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 <laughs> that, that, that's where Karen works. Really? Yeah. Oh. Monterey Bay. Yeah, they, it looks like they have audio of it and then some videos too. Samantha is also an Ambari alum. Is that a school or a? No. It's um, it's the an aquarium. Monterey Bay Aquarium oh. Marine Research Institute. Acronyms, the, man. The <laughs> they always get me. It's the research side of the aquarium. Yeah. yeah. I didn't put two and two together. <laughs> we also have some cool footage of Vailulu Seamount, or uh, I'm not seamount. <laughs> I have seamounts on the brain. <laughs> um, off the coast of American Samoa from 2019, I believe, which are really cool. So you can kind of see those submarine volcano environments. Yeah. I want to see lava. I want to see it like the real lava. <laughs> yeah. And bubbling. In a completely opposite direction, what kind of ice cream did we have tonight? They, the chat wants to know. Mochi. Oh. Yeah, honeydew mochi. Mm -hmm. Which but was really good. It was surprisingly delicious. Yes, it was. It was nice when you mix it. We had vanilla, too. So if you mix it with the vanilla, oh. it was it was good. I'm not big on honeydew, but it was good. The vanilla was great on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a honeydew guy, not a melon guy at all. But it's mostly texture thing. The flavor was OK. And not really melony, either. It was just very sweet. It felt tropical, or it tasted tropical. Yeah. It did, it tasted yeah. Yeah. really tropical. Yep. At first I thought it was mint chocolate chip out of Same. the corner of my eye, and I'm really not a fan of that flavor profile, so I'm really glad it wasn't. <laughs> I can't Agreed. believe you just announced that to the world. I no, did, uh, I, I did. Solidarity here, yeah, absolutely. You heard it here really? live. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, you think so oh too? Oh my gosh. No, I don't like it. Dangerously unpopular Rob opinion. Rob doesn't like it either? <laughs> wow. No, I mean, mint's a waste of time. I need to get <laughs> off this ship. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, Stephanie. I'm with you, Stephanie. I don't even know you people, I'm telling you. The chocolate chip is great. It's the best. Yeah. 
I also like toothpaste flavored. <laughs> okay, well, okay, we're well. just gonna ignore <laughs> you then. <laughs> Did you say you like toothpaste flavor? Well, I'm comparing that to mint because they're okay. the same flavor. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's like different than like eating flavored mint. ice cream. Gross. Yeah, toothpaste ice cream sounds delicious. No. It, it's a different type of mint. Is it though? It's tasty. I was I'm gonna say, is it like a Canadian thing not to like? Mint because two thing? Canadians don't like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sample sizes. I just, <laughs> I just can't fathom not liking it. <laughs> But Rob kind of blew that theory yeah, I, away because he doesn't like it either. So I, I'm not a big mint fan. No. I, I tear up the peppermint in my garden, just get rid of it. <laughs> Why'd you plant it? it? It wasn't my choice. It's invasive. I got some in my yard. It's everywhere. It pops up in the middle of the lawn. It's nutty. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd like to go on the record and say I do like mint, but I do not like mint and chocolate together. Those mm. things should stay separate. <laughs> Mint is okay in certain things, like special drinks or toothpaste, but not in chocolate. <laughs> you really like toothpaste. No, I don't like toothpaste. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm lost. I just have to say, Girl Scout cookies, thin mint Girl Scout cookies. I don't like thin mints Pass. either. Mm -mm. Uh, oh. Uh, My ears are melting. Everybody's On entitled SPL? to their own opinion. I'm a, I'm a peanut butter girl, You're wrong, personally. But everybody's entitled to okay. I love oh. peanut butter. Butter. Yeah, peanut butter, anything. Mm -hmm. I brought my own peanut butter mm -hmm. to the ship. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking Ooh, at me like that? Fancy. Because <laughs> you have questionable food choices Just as well. <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> I agree with the Nutella. Nutella. Yeah, Nutella. Wait, yeah. so you like Nutella, That's, right? Oh. Yes. Okay, good. Love it. We used Just to have don't Nutella put mint on the in ship it. all the time. And oh, in the tubes. Really? Yeah, giant oh, industrial you know, tubes. Mint oh, Nutella. Yeah. I don't think I could get behind mint Nutella. What? Yeah. <laughs> is mint that a chocolate thing? chip though there's like a certain ratio of mint to chocolate that's acceptable yeah zero percent exactly <laughs> <laughs> nutella seems like it would be a really good boat food like a really good it, ship i'm telling you for it for was years. it was on board for years yeah nutella that was yeah. the same tube though dave <laughs> that's oh. the problem yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey let's zoom in on the science for a minute is that a worm Never know. Let's find out, Dave. Is what it, do we got? It's a rock. It's a rock. Just a rock. But is it a rock? It's just a rock. Oh, wow. That's a rock, all right. Yep. Mm. I got a rock. <laughs> but, but, What's the weird little white, crusty-looking thing on the left side, top left side? I think that's just the, the otter, the, the flocculent sediment stuff. OK. Why does it look so different, though? It could be a, a sediment. Um, tube. Some some polychaetes oh, yeah. worm do these tubes with uh, sediment that they collect from the surroundings. Cool. Poke it with a stick. Let's see what happens. We need to um, install a stick a on her. <laughs> All right, a come on. Thank you. Stick. Actually, uh, Trevor, you kind of let this, you know, one knot kind of go by very easily with people here. What knot go by? What? Well, you said one knot, the speed of Herc. Why not? Yeah. That's just a little over a mile per hour. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, in the average walking speed of a 65-year-old person, is about two, two miles per hour. Two knots. <laughs> Wait, so... I was wondering why you were looking that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Herc does not go very fast. Speed racer. Oh, we didn't... Well, hold on. Oh, back, back up a second. <laughs> we asked how fast we can move. Uh, and we can move at a knot. But that's not how fast Herc can go, because we still need to be able to avoid terrain and go up and down slopes and everything. Oh, well, when I asked the question, I meant just, like, how fast if... Put the pedal to the metal. Yeah. Trailer. Hercules can move probably a maximum non-sustained speed of two knots, which is really fast. Is it, Rob? <laughs> well, go back to Google. In a relative no, sense. If you consider a 65-year-old person climbing up swimming. a hill... Mm -hmm. How fast does a 65-year-old person swim uphill? <laughs> Well, it depends on, like, the the athleticness of the 65-year-old. I actually don't know the average swimming speed of an average person. That's why we have Google. Mm, I don't have that up here. I will look it up for you. I have a 65-year-old person. You want me to do specifically of a 65-year-old person? <laughs> with, but, like, a really seat. buff 65-year-old person. <laughs> David Hasselhoff? <laughs> um, okay, well, the average person... 
Um, it doesn't say the age. Is around two miles an hour oh, swimming. There you go. If they're in a chlorinated warm pool. Ooh, warm. Warm. Well, yeah, because you swim faster in cold pools. Hmm. Yeah, that's why they keep the high school pools really cold. Really? Yeah. That high is a new fact pool. for me. I was on the swim team. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> uh -huh. That we swim faster. Is it because you want to get out of the pool? Is that no, why? We, no, we liked being in the pool. It was hard to jump in at first. Well, what, what does the cold do? Maybe you can make you swim faster. faster. Let me because you want to get out of the right. pool. I'm asking Google again. <laughs> I hope it gives you a viscosity equation or something. Like that. <laughs> Gage so check is finished. Roger, thank you. Is that saying that the average person's swimming is the same as the average 65-year-old person's walking? <laughs> is that what I got out of that? Hmm. I'm learning a lot today. Uh oh. <laughs> Speaking as an over 65-year-old person, I'm um, sensing let me, a let me look up a lot of ageism in this uh, conversation. How <laughs> fast do you think Michael Phelps is going to go when to he hits 65? There, Trevor, Trevor, meant to be a joke. <laughs> or when he hits six and a half. Oh. Let's move a decimal point. How fast did he swim at six and a half years old? Um. I can't find the average swimming seat speed of a, you know, a 65 year old person. It's just telling me how I can calculate it. Or it's asking me to reword the question as is swimming good for over 65. So, um, but also um, I'm ashamed to say Google is telling me that warmer swimming water actually yields faster swim times, but I don't know. I would think, because you move better in warm water. Right. Um, I was just telling, uh, this is what the coach told me. <laughs> <laughs> they just told you to have a little chat with your coach. Yeah. <laughs> just to encourage you. Mm -hmm. Give you that extra oomph. It's probably like to take care of, like, in long jump, we have wind-aided jumps or speed or running. So they probably had to all this have the same temperature for records to be the same for comparison purposes. Well, now I have no clue because everything was a lie since <laughs> high school. <laughs> and I'm just talking. Uh, I have no idea. 12-9. Okay, Stephanie, I have an answer for you. Uh, most swimmers, oh, you're the fact checker, yeah. Yeah, most swimmers average out, this is according to UK Fitness Events. <laughs> most swimmers average at two miles per hour. Trained athletes are at about four miles per hour. Rocks. And then Olympians, like Michael Phelps, max out around six miles per hour. So a little bit, Phelps is faster than Herc. Is that what, what I'm hearing? A yes. lot faster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uphill. But That's Herc right. can tow a lot more. And probably swim a little bit deeper than he can as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little. Just a little bit. He can carry rocks. And he, That's yeah. true. And it could slice through coral with its hand. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's claw. see Michael Phelps take a push. Wow, we have rocks again. What if we gave him a backpack and put each other on sampler? there? Yeah, a suction sampler, like Ghostbuster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phelps, if you ever hear this. <laughs> um, the cold water slash hot water debate, uh, the internet said warmer water keeps your muscles warmed up and like, you know, it makes you more loosey-goosey, so it yields faster swimming times. So wow. Just more enjoyable in general, I would definitely I, say. No, I liked the cold water, well, especially when you started sweating while swimming. Well, you should, come, nice. you should come swim in the Canadian Ocean, <laughs> see if you still <laughs> like it. Ooh. Well, well, to take things a logical extreme, you get maximum density at about four degrees C. So that's really cold. So the depths of the water, I think you'd have a little more trouble swimming. You, I, you would float better. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to swim at four degrees C. We have people in Rhode Island that swim all year round. Does it, it get to four it's degrees? It's really close. Hey, Rob, I got a dumb question for you. You talked yeah. about the density uh, and how it gets less dense as we heat it up, heat up the water. But would swimming be faster or slower in more or less dense water? I don't that's what I'm wondering. I don't know what the viscosity is. I mean, this, yeah. this is fresh water. Of course, but like, would you swim faster in salt water? 
or slower, assuming same temperature is the well, equivalent. You, I think you would, you'd be more buoyant, so right. you might. Yeah, maybe. You might swim mm. faster. But, but if it's zero degrees, you probably will swim really slow. Right. Slow as ice. Because you're in ice. Yeah. It looks like there's a stalk of biology in the cinema cam. <gasps> oh, off yonder? Yeah. Off yonder. Yes, I see it. Something, anything. <laughs> workout pools are cooler, so swimmers will stay comfortable during intense workouts. That makes sense. Thanks, Chad. So I guess cool, but not too cool is our answer. Yeah, not like frigid. Air conditioning. Yeah. Water conditioning. Maybe. On this rock here. What's it yeah, gonna it's be? Right there. There's something. We got coral. Could be a coral. It's definitely a coral. Could be anything. A, tw a bamboo. 29 meters. Could it be? It looks like a bamboo. Can we zoom in, please, Dave? I'll see the nodes. Are there nodes? What what is a node? It's a little black line, it's a little seat belts going around. Oh. What is the purpose of the node? The purpose of the node, um, I think is uh, maintain the uh, esclerite, so the Looks like barnacles on that too. The bamboo has like the esclerites and then nodes with the protein kitinos. Uh, so it's the way they maintain the, the skeleton, I guess. I guess. Oh, nodes? Yeah, oh. there are nodes down the bottom. Nodes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sad incident at the other All side. Right. That's usually Thank the easiest ones to see. Yeah, the opposite of the polyps. There's also something else to the left, but now you're going right. Sorry, we're going right. It's okay. It looks small. There's lots of nice rocks over here. Yeah, but well, yeah. I don't. I'd, I'd rather wait till we get near the top. Sure. you say shrimp? I think it was. It was something in the water column. Didn't see it. Not going to count it. Oh. <laughs> Can't trust them. <laughs> you have to be sure it's a shrimp. A lot of, um, like, smaller rocky bits. Nuggets. Or are they too big to be nuggets? Well, these are too big to be nuggets. What would you call them, Rob? I think they're just talus blocks. Talus, talus blocks. blocks? Yeah. Mm. So would you say we're transiting over a talus slope? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, there were some sheet flows earlier, but now it's all pretty much all talus. Perfect. Not a lot of living things here. No. Why might that be? Poor oh. water. No, Not a lot of... Not a lot of food. Food. Rob was saying earlier the steepness might not be allowing anything to colonize or settle. Oh, because things just tumble down? Yeah, and, and it could be not enough circulation to bring things, like, like you say, in food. Could be in like a, uh, a current shadow or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
normally I'd expect if there was a strong current, we'd see ripples in the sediments. Mm -hmm. But you don't really see anything there, so there may not be much current here. Yeah. It's just a bunch of rocks. There are also plenty larval stages that rely on that current to carry them to places to settle, so if there's no current, then they don't come here either. Yeah, something should be coming into view here. No. No, That's I think it's it. more to the left. Or the right, I'm and sorry, not on my left and right. Yeah, let's kind um, of zoom in somewhere in here toward... I think, oh, it's there. right there, I see it. Are you talking about the, where is like it, the sponge thing? Yeah, I don't know, where is it? Do you it's, see it now? It just got off frame Ooh. to the, the right. To to the right? Yeah. Now it's right in the corner. Okay, yeah, there it is. Circle? There's something up there. It's up like, there. Right yeah. Back. It's just off frame. Let's go. Looks like a sponge. There it's it is. It's on there frame it now. Yeah, now it's in like the middle of the top. Yep. Anything? Right, go for a zoom, please. Yeah, is there something inside there? Is that like a small parade? Yeah, you see an associate like there, too. Is that a crinoid? Yes. Um, is that a crinoid? Whoa, it's a tiny little crinoid. Oh yeah, there's another one on the top side too. One underneath and one up top. Yeah, I got a couple of them. Do you think that's one of the parade sponges? I believe it is. Yeah. But I don't think this is a... Oh, got some dust. A okay. crinoid, I think it's a... We're gonna go, bonnet. thank you. Okay, thanks. Thanks. One more. I'm glad that sponge had associates. It's lonely out here. Is that dead sponge? Yeah, there. dead sponge over here. Poor sponge, what's, what's killing them? That one might have been knocked off. Yeah, it could be the yeah. slopes. Clever. Did you want to zoom on or do you want yeah, to Yeah, let's go look on? at it real quick. Okay, you want to have a look at the thing? The classic up is down. Or it could be just a rock. Would that be a weird colored rock? Yeah. Porch bump. All right, zoom in there, please, video. Good there. That looks like spongy bits. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you can come wide. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. Heading uh, 45. Sorry, I was talking talking to myself. Go a little more upslope. Get a little upslope of Atlanta. We're getting within the red ring of danger there. So on the sonar, so we'll go actually maybe even zero three zero. I'm starting to feel uncomfortably close to this cliff here. Yeah, exactly. The red ring of danger. We'll put Herc a little upslope. They'll be not totally stretched out in front. We'll be a little offset, but offset in the upslope direction. Do you want me to change my heading to match that? No, you're good. You, okay. You can just keep Herc centered. It's all good. Roger. Ooh, bouncing around a bit. Yeah. Paula, did you say that crinoid thing wasn't a crinoid? No, I hmm? think it, it was a polychaete. A polychaete? Some suspensivorous polychaete. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a, is that a crinoid in the center no, of the cam? Uh, can we zoom here, please? Yep. 
Oh, this is We can do a quick zoom and then I gotta move along. Uh, go ahead, Dave, you can go. A uh, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, a zoom. Little, zoom. Little Mazda. Yeah, it's a crinoid. Yep. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Thank you, come wide. I'm gonna turn on the turbo jet here and bonk things. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> didn't hit it. Almost did, didn't. I feel like I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold down here. <laughs> Not. Are we going almost as fast as a 65 year old? <laughs> On Walk, average? Walking in average salt water. Walking uphill. Up salt water hill. All right, we're outside the red ring of danger now. Yeah, it looks like a nose of a flow coming out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flow nose. How steep is the slope? Does anyone know? That's steep. That's pretty steep. Mm -hmm. Pretty steep. At least Apparently 60. Yeah. Keeping delta around 12. Yeah, that's great. I have have high hopes coming on top of this thing. We're really only about a halfway up this side hill. Fish. Nope. Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh. Big shrimp. Oh, beautiful shrimp. Let's get a glory glamour shot of this shrimp, please. It's upside down. They swim in all directions. That shrimp don't care. <laughs> You know you're not seeing much biology when we're getting glamour <laughs> yeah. shots of the shrimp. <laughs> that's a big one, though, isn't it? Yeah. Badger shrimp. Whoa, that's a big one. That's like a 12 centimeter long shrimp. Can you zoom out a little bit, please? Good there. I'm just not very stable here. I want to paint him with the lasers. Oh, nice. barrel oh, got roll. It. Wow. Nice. Woo. Barrel roll. <laughs> I was too busy highlighting and I missed it. Yeah, that, those are the lasers on there. That is a Big 50 shrimp. centimeter shrimp. Sick shrimp tricks. All right, Sick. I'm going to go now. Would you call it a piece. jumbo shrimp? Jumbo shrimp. Jumbo Do you think shrimp. that shrimp fries rice? <laughs> <laughs> Did you highlight it as an absolute unit of a shrimp, Stephanie? I should have. <laughs> I just said glamour shrimp. That's glamour even better. Glamour shrimp. I should have said shrimp on the runway. <laughs> Now these are nice flows here. Lava tubes. What's this gray spot? Yeah, what is that? Is it a hole pass? Or is it a tunicate? Yeah. Let's it, zoom in it here, old please. Hold Do we get tunicates this deep? It's like something on the, uh, that hmm. was on the rock. That's no longer on the rock. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, May, that is made up this mark. to a rock. All right. Moronke, someone in the ch the chat shouted you out. Who is Shout that? Shout out to the imaginative scientist. Oh wow! They watched you in the North Pacific expedition. I think their name's William. Hello. Thank you for shouting me out. Um, the Imaginative Scientist is my SciComm account, for those wondering. It's really good. <laughs> it's I, everyone should go check it out. You How can, is that spelled? You can find me on Instagram at ImaginativeSCI. Where are the critters? I don't know. They're running. 
running away. Yeah, this area is much more stable geologically, so it's got to be a food limitation. Well, there was a shrimp, so maybe there'll be more. Yeah, I keep seeing things in the rocks, too. That's no, just a rock. Do you think there'd be a lot of things on the other side of the seamount, or does it not work like that? Yeah, sometimes it would depend on what the prevailing currents are, and it could be uh, on that side. Can we detect currents? Is there like a current reader on Hercules or something? Just uh, pilot whining. The louder the whining, the stronger the current is. Oh. I mean, on the last cruise, I tried to uh, predict the currents, but it was, you know, 50 50, so I don't know how mm -hmm. robust it would have been. But those are like longer term prevailing currents, mm -hmm. not necessarily the tidal currents that, that do have an impact down here. So the pilotometer is, uh, is probably <laughs> as, as good as any, uh, as a metric for that. Yeah. Especially anything that starts with O and ends with an expletive of some kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's a sponge coming up. I think there's yeah. a sponge yeah. coming up. On the left. On the left. We should see it by now. Oh, yeah. Let's zoom in there, Dave. <laughs> Check this thing out. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Is it alive? The one in the back is. Yeah, or there's the one two. that's growing on the other one? Hold on, what am I looking at there? Is that oh, one coming out the side? That's hard to tell. And is that a baby sponge? Double sponge. And a polychaete associate? Yeah. Paula? Yes. I can't really tell what's going on on that other one. So it's spin around it's here. a neighbor. Is it a neighbor? <laughs> Maybe. You, you had the whole that. ocean, buddy. <laughs> Why'd you be a neighbor right <laughs> beside me? Maybe they were yeah, neighbors when they were still alive. They were roommates. They were roommates. Can you imagine that, having unlimited terrain to build <laughs> your... <laughs> <laughs> Give me some space, bud. Oh, there's another thing on the bottom of that big boulder in the cinema cam. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For those of you watching, the cinema cam is on channel three. It's just another camera we are testing out. And it's very cool. It is very cool. I don't see it in the... Oh, there it is. Now you do. Wow. <laughs> I like building suspense. <laughs> oh, we need some, like, soundtrack in, music. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this one alive? Oh, is there a little baby attached to it, too? Yeah, it looks like it's <laughs> A little baby. Lots of babies. Maybe this one looks a little dead. Yeah, but 
that 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 thing yeah. coming off of it doesn't look dead, does that, it? That is true. Yeah, funny. There's another thing off to the right a little bit, I thought. Nope, I'm a liar. Dirty rotten liar. Okay, <laughs> come by, thanks. Oh, there is something on the top of the boulder. Oh, yeah. It's see a that. What is star. It? It's a sea star. star. Yeah. A star. Look at all these it's things. It's probably similar. This is sea star was okay, zoom in, spotted please, in the first watch. Yeah, this I remember that. Beautiful color. The, the Gadaya thing. Beautiful pose, too. Yeah. Mm. What a model. Wow. He, he's simulating the sea mount. <laughs> Is this like the runway down here? <laughs> I, I, my, my highlight was called a star on the runway. <laughs> and I typed that before you said it. So we have a glamour shrimp right. and a star on the <laughs> runway. <laughs> the next one is going to be, please let there be more. I'm getting anxious. <laughs> Getting into a little bit of a basin here. I'm gonna skedaddle. So right now it's 9.36 our time. So on the, at least where I'm from in Pennsylvania, it's like, what, 3 a.m.? Um, people in the chat say they, they fall asleep to us talking. Oh. Dreams of <laughs> shrimps and crinoids. Is that a good thing? I think I, it is. Oh, what okay. do we, I know a lot of people fall please, asleep to uh, um, podcasts and stuff. It's kind of nice yes. to be a soothing do we need to put on our like soothing radio voices <laughs> our yeah. asmr <laughs> like this bedtime with ev nautilus I love you're ASMR. listening to <laughs> exploring oh, the sea floor blue. asmr <laughs> sponsored <laughs> by glamour shrimp <laughs> glamour shrimp and the runway star so i wonder how this would be the sound down in the deep sea have you ever tried to record sounds? Yeah, they do have uh, acoustic recordings of, of things. There's a lot of research on it. Try to identify uh, species. Is it loud down there? Without Hercules? I guess you wouldn't... Yeah, I mean, they have... Uh, there are acoustic arrays on the sea floor that's listening for just about everything. I'm Did trying to think of a follow-up question, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I heard acoustic ray, not array. acoustic array. I was like, I've never heard of that kind of fish before. <laughs> it's a singing ray. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of research going on, like, on that, like, passive um, acoustic, like, just listening. Yep. Like, yeah. you have a set of hydrophones on the seafloor, and they are just listening passively. Yeah, one of your professors up at UNH does a lot of that, Jen y Nixis. Yeah, yeah, Jen, yeah. yeah. So the principal, the main source of sound would be the animals or any any other source? Yeah, it, there are animals. I mean, there are a lot of fish calls. I mean, I used to be in charge of the fish calls recordings that they had at the, the okay. Bay Campus. They actually recorded them way back. And I had someone approach us about using it in lures to attract fish for fishing. But yeah, there's, there's fish, I mean, there's uh, earthquakes, there's whale sounds, there's porpoises. What about sizzling lava noise? <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm sure the near events, it sounds yeah. real bubbly. Yeah, it, 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 you hear cracking. I mean, if we turn down that other, uh, listen to an eruption, you could hear some of the, yeah. the little mini explosions. 
What I'm really curious about is, um, they say like some fish have good sense of smells. Like what? How do you what and how do you smell underwater? You know? I mean, we can't because we'll, well inhale water, but it's the same thing. It's detecting uh, like, particles and um, some chemicals. Yeah. Uh, but in a different way instead of in the wa in the air. They so are in the water. Do you think it smells fishy? <laughs> I don't think I don't that's something we'll ever really n know quite exact. No. Well, I mean, sharks could smell. Yeah, but I want to know what it's like to smell as a fish, you know? <laughs> I see a lot of, like, beachcombers guide descriptions of tide pool animals as, like, smelling like something or another. Is this anything any of you have ever experienced? Do you smell your specimens? Yeah, my specimens smell really strong. The really? The crustaceans, yeah. The squall lobsters? Yes. And um, I have learned in this expedition that black corals smell really strong as well. Strong and bad or strong and good? Uh, I would say strong. <laughs> 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 good answer. <laughs> it's an acquired smell. <laughs> Can I get a reset, please? <laughs> okay. I heard gray whales do not smell very good. I heard that too. Did I hear that from you? You yeah. might have heard that from me. Are you okay? I heard. Didn't didn't someone say minky whales don't smell good? Too. Were well, you talking about that they stink, or they have the ability to smell? <laughs> I'm talking about they're stinky. Oh. <laughs> I think just about any rotting carcass or whatever. Well, no, they're alive. Oh. They don't smell good alive. There's a nudibranch that smells like watermelon. Yum. Mm. What's a, a nudibranch? A nudibranch? Yes. A nudibranch is a um, mollusk. Okay. Um, it is known also by sea slugs. Oh. And they are really cute. They They're are really cute. Okay. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Sea slugs with. Oh, that's and they some of the, one of them smells like watermelon. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's a really wild phenomenon. My favorite is the opalescent nudibranch. It's gorgeous. Wow. Opalescent. That probably describes how beautifully colored it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks like an opal. Nice. How do you spell that? Oh, I, I found it. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I know what these are. When I left for the ship, I mailed my dad's dog a um, nudibranch dog toy <laughs> to, to chew like on while really they're close watching. To us. Oh, a jellyfish. Is that a Tina floor in the middle, or is that? Ooh. Really, really close center jellyfish. screen. Yeah. Or is that another one of the uh, isopods? Ah, oh, there it goes. It might fall into the cinema cam. It's just going to divide up. The two pieces. I'm gonna move oh. along. <sighs> How about these rocks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know that there are deep sea nudibranchs? Really? really? Are they as vibrant as the non deep sea ones? Well, no, so colorful. But they are cool. Yeah, we we saw one on the uh, 141 cruise. Oh, really? Yeah, our science communication person, uh, Watts, that's all she wanted to see the whole cruise. And we got it the very last dive. That's so cool. They willed it into yeah. existence. Oh, oh is that a shrimp? shrimp? What about this coral? 
and a coral. Let's look at a coral. I'm betting it's a bamboo. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do on this bedded bamboo. Coral. Bedded. <laughs> bedded. <laughs> With a T. There's Bested, also, yeah. when you're done looking at the coral, there's something on the rock that may or may not be a shrimp to the left. <laughs> may or may not be a shrimp. It's hard Possible to Possible shrimp sighting. I see nodes. Nodes. Very subtle nodes. Yeah, I see okay. nodes. Thank you. There's a little uh, there's an associate there, too. Yeah. Is that yeah. a particle? Could be anything. I call particle. Where's this uh, thingy? Um, off look the in the thingy? cinema cam. It's on that. So the oh, rock that's like kind of towards the middle. I see it at the top the of the cinema cam. Where do you yeah. want it? It's yeah, here. it's, it's here. yep. Yeah, it is. Is Let's it a zoom shrimp? in there, please. Or is it not? Because it looks like it has a lot of long legs. We're going to get a two for one shrimp zoom. It's a shrimp. Is it? Oh. Oh, look at that oh, oh, wow. Look at, look at those legs. Look at the beautiful blue. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is that, fluorescence or? Uh, Iridescence or? I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm I didn't know shrimp could have long spindly legs. All right, legs. I'm out. Thank you. Ooh. There's something hanging from under that rock. Yeah, I think Let's there's something that. there. There's also a dead sponge thing there. Can we zoom on the hanging thing, please? Then I gotta move after this. Huh. What was it? Rest of the sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What are all those micro hanging things? That could be rest also of organic matter. I have seen those in in the rocks we yeah. collected. I'm not sure what they are, but yeah, there's. Chat says there are actually eight species known in the deep sea. I'm guessing of the nudibrink. Um, five discovered in the last five years. Wow. They didn't specify what species of what, but I'm, I'm guessing it's those slugs. OK, now I want to see. I want to see one. Will it into existence? Yes. Have you, are sea hares a kind of nudibranch? Like they're really big, really big ones. What? A sea hare? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like ginormous. Yeah. So uh, those one are. Um, Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Smallus, yeah. but they are not nudibranchs. Zoom in here, please, Dave. Yeah, we got stuff here. What? Mm. That's a weird spot for a sponge. Is it a sponge? Little tiny coral. And a little tiny yeah. coral. Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing down there, sponge? That's a different type of sponge. It's, di it's different. It's like weird and flat. Yeah, it looks it's deflated. Wedged itself. <laughs> I could if it the have rock toppled, maybe. I was going to say, could it have been like a sponge that like broke away and kind of landed right, there? Thank or? you. Got crushed or something? Not a very professional sponge. Mm -mm, no, not at all. No. Not. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to work on its resume a little bit. Casual sponge. Casual sponge. <sighs> a sponge stuck in a hard place. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How do you spell that? See her? Yeah. 
Like S E A H A A I R or H A R E? Uh, H A R E. Like a rabbit. Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna look them up. They those can be very very big. Do they live in the deep? No, those are shallow water, intertidal. Sometimes you can see them tight pulling. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a picture of a guy holding it. Big. So I guess Annabelle really wants to see a nudibranch, but what, what is like a dream thing to see? What is everyone's like dream creature? A, a giant. Wildfowl. <laughs> <laughs> a giant squid. A giant squid. Ooh. Or a colossal squid. A colossal squid. Those are also my two favorite ocean animals. Would you so. be, would you like I feel like it'd be a little scary to see it, even though we're Zoom not in, down please. there with it. Yeah. I would love it. <laughs> I'd love to be in a manned submersible and see one. <laughs> yeah, Speak that'd for be... yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the same sort of thing we just saw. See, yeah, I'd say a deflate, deflated casual yeah. sponge. Have you seen those? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Should we? Yeah, let's grab it if we have ten. Yeah, yeah we do. Casual Come wide, please. Sponge. Yay, sample. Is it a sponge? We know it's a sponge. Yeah. It looks okay. spongy. It certainly looks like one. Where are we going to put it? Uh, let's get bubble on craft, please. Where are Roger? we going to put it? Where would you like to put it? Oh. Anywhere but starboard box Let me get a. bubble back up. Roger. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to come down on Delta? I uh, should be OK there. OK. We're Roger. only going to get closer. Let's go for a forward Wonderful. bio box. Sure, forward box sounds great. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm just waiting for something to come out of this cavern. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the cinema cam. Yeah. Do it. it also looks like there's a tuna kit in there underneath. Is that a tuna in kit? In the cinema cam. You think so? Where? Are you sure that's just not a speck of debris on the camera? That yeah, could be. Can you zoom in, please, Dave? I think it's yeah, a, it's speck a speck of debris, debris on the camera. That's Woody's. I'm waiting, yeah, I'm waiting for like something so with sharp teeth to like come out and go. Yeah. What part of this do you want? Just like any of it? At the apex, maybe. The which? Or. Which? What do you want? Where am I? Where am I grabbing? I'm hearing nothing, so I'm just gonna grab right here. Just grab. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Come full wide, please. Cool. Hmm. Cool. It's very soft. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna float. Roger I didn't that. think it was growing on the rock like that. I thought it was growing like from one point outward. Yeah, go ahead. Well, maybe below. I don't know. A little more? This is probably fine. It's okay. fine. Is our slurp not working still? Slurp's working. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know where the rumor came that the slurp's not working. The slurp is working uh. except it was plugged to the coral. Oh. And it is no longer plugged to the coral because it's a brand new dive. Ooh. Oh, it's well so done. Good job. Good Great. job. All right. You can uh, box in. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. It, thank you. It's interesting that there's so much sediment in that little cave. Yeah. That really is it. Oh, uh, there's sediment in there. All right, yeah. I got a skedaddle. Skedaddle. Uh, Chad said that one of their dream creatures to see is a pycono. I can't pronounce that. P y c n o g o n i d. Oh, pycnogonid. Sea spider. Yeah. Uh sea spider. Yeah, that would be very cool. We've seen uh, sea spiders on previous Nautilus expeditions, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they're creepy. <laughs> yeah. I really like how you're referring to chat as a person. <laughs> yeah. Almost sounds like Chad, but not quite. Chad says. Chad says. 
<laughs> I like to acknowledge the chat. Oh, I know yeah, when I was watching Nautilus and the chat was Roger. acknowledged, I felt special. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's funny assigning them all the same personality, though. It's just this one person with vastly different opinions than itself. It's like a big hive mind Oh, there was in something, there, there was yeah. a cucumber uh, right oh, in the middle. Cucumber. cucumber. Oh, there is. Yeah, we can do a, uh, hold on, I'm going to do a set up for a snap zoom on that, and then i got to keep moving. We can do a mid-speed mid zoom. Ooh, beautiful. Nice. Thanks. I still want to see him take off. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that one might take, take off. off. <laughs> nah. All right, bouncy. Okay, thank uh, you. come wide, thank please. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I actually collected a lot of picnogonids accidentally on my last cruise because I was collecting sulfide rock from hydrothermal <laughs> vents, and they no. cover that rock. Um, I have arachnophobia, and the thought oh, of sea spiders <laughs> just like sends a chill down my spine. Like I shivered just now when you said that. Well, well they were not everywhere, are they? No, but no, like, they're they, crabs. They have the spindly legs, which I guess is why they're called sea spiders. Common and they're name, correct? Huge. Yeah. Yeah. They're so huge. No, nope, they were tiny. Yeah. So yeah, deep, some, some deep sea uh, sea spiders can be huge but there are other species that are really small and especially in shallow waters you, some some of the species can be a few millimeters uh, size oh chat also says a magna pina squid which Ooh. also seems to have big spidery looking tentacles so so we have a bamboo here but the big fin squid? Yes. We Those are really zoom cool. On the bamboo. Bamboo zoom. Bamboo. <coughs> Sometimes uh, it's, it's common to find in this bamboo hetero, heteroptychus, which okay, is a squad lobster. Moving along. Yep. That would have to be a pretty small lobster. Yeah, they're, they are there. very small. Bamboo's everywhere, down bottom right, yeah. bottom left. Life. We're, we're, I was going to say, we're coming into life. Life is for living. One thing that I'm always looking forward to seeing is uh, Dumbo octopus. Oh, yeah, oh. Classic. that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. be a sweet little thing. I think Sometimes Okeanos sure. has seen a big fin squid before. Sorry to cut you off, Dave. That's right. Sometimes Dumbos are cute little things. Sometimes they're big. I've seen uh, oh, three or four of them. Do you want to see a cute one or a big one, or you don't care? Any of them. Any of big them. Big cute one. Big cute one. <laughs> big cute one. What if there is a Dumbo octopus like the size of Herc? I would love to see <laughs> a hydrothermal vent and a cure. Jetty crab. What's the anacua? Uh, the yeti crab. Jetty crab is genus Kiwa. Okay. K I W A. Kiwa. That's the well, that's the ones with the fuzzy looking arms. Yeah. But they only live in hydrothermal vents. That's a little different. Look at the pink and purple it's mouth cool. parts. Look at yeah. Shot. Good shot. Yeah. It's got a nice ombre going on at the end. Nice what? An ombre that's ombre. like the effect when a color fades into another. I did not know that. Classic. Is this one also a fashion model? Seem to be running into a lot of them today. Yeah. All of a sudden. Very Life fashionable. Abundant. <laughs> In the color sense, what's the difference between ombre and variegated? Ombre and what? Variegated. I don't know. I just know the term ombre because it's very popular to get in your hair as hair, like in a hair dyed ombre. It's also very popular in fabric. Hmm. Mm -hmm. My wife is a quilter. Oh. Ooh. And so multicolored uh, fade from one color to another is ombre and fabric as well. But I was taught that it was called variegated. Mm -hmm. So, I've asked my wife the same question. She doesn't know either. 
Does your wife go to the, the big quilt festival in Sisters, Oregon? No. Oh. no she's a sort of a solitary quilter. I went once and it was spectacular if she ever like does want to see quilts. Uh, she's been to quilt shows and quilt camps and that kind of stuff. Um, she used to do a lot with her mother. Uh, that kind of stuff. We went to a quilt show in NASA in the Bahamas. Um, oh, that's nice. Just happened to be there on a cruise ship. Oh. We should be coming up on corals here. On yeah. top of this rock. Top, yes. Another bamboo one. What's the small one in the back? Yep. Let's zoom in the small one in the back, please. Looking for squat. Did you have to keep tracking for it? Yeah. Oh, Thank you. See squat. Chat heard your question, Dave. Ombre is fade, variegated is more defined edges. Cool. Thank you. More dream creature sightings. Greenland shark. Ooh. And a mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp. Isn't the mantis shrimp, um, uh, oh no, I'm thinking of, no, no, I, I think I'm thinking of the right thing. It can like split things in half just using, because yeah. it snaps Something so here, fast. Under, hang it underneath. Is it the fastest moving animal on earth? The mantis shrimp is the animal with the best vision in the world. Best vision, it can yeah, see right. a bunch the system, of colors. The system, the visual system of mantis rims are amazing. They, we have four cones, they have 13. Yeah. Yeah, there's a different sort of uh, coral up there, maybe. Yeah, let's do in the sponge, then we can get up to the coral. Go ahead, Dave. <coughs> uh, the sponge. Does it have something inside? Could it be. Looks like it might, yeah. I won't be able to line up looking into it, unfortunately. The cinema cam might. It's cool. Pretty. Yeah. You can come out halfway, Dave. I'm going to go up to the top of this rock. There we go. What's this thing? Do I see a little tiny brittle star? Yeah, there's yes. something over here, yeah. If you got more zoom, Dave, try for it. Nope, that's it. Okay. We're not close to it, so. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Any idea what that is? Could be a prinoid, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, isn't a mantis strip the world's fastest animal? It's got the super fast lightning claw thing. Yeah, that completely stuns its prey. Yeah, because it moves so fast and like creates cavitation in the water or so something. It moves so quickly, it turns the kinetic energy into thermal energy. It gives off heat when it snaps its claws. It's when you, yeah, they use the raptor claws. Isn't wow. that also it's a like thing? It's like snapping the shrimps. Yeah. Um, Google, consulting Google, Dracula ants can snap their mandibles at a speed of 200 miles per hour. Glad there aren't any of those down here. <laughs> and I, that was me searching world's fastest movement. Mm. There is another shrimp there. Shrimp. Shrimp. Was it long-legged? Another bamboo. Another bamboo. If it doesn't have the nodes, does that mean it's not a bamboo? I, I think they're the, they're the nodes are pretty much the characteristic aspect of it. So I, it, if I, there's no nodes, then it's not bamboo. Can we zoom in on this? Well, see sometimes you can't always see them. Oh. But they may be there. But that's a little thinner, doesn't it? Still looks like an octocoral. Yeah, it does look like an octocoral. I, I see a node at the base there. Yeah, one node. node. All right, come on, yeah, please. Here. Yeah. I bonked. The 
There are people working now, trying to unveil the um, evolutionary relationships, the number of species, the lineages in this group. Shrimp. The of bamboos. what, ba bamboos? The bamboos. There's an old hold fast over on the left. Guess what time it is? Is it gauge, gauge check, check time? It's gauge check time. It's gauge, gauge check, check time. time. Gauge check time. Gauge check time. <laughs> it's our favorite time. Chat also wants to see a goblin shark. I think that'd be kind of cool. I want to see a regular goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 2205? Annabelle in my head when you said what time is it? In my head I was like, gauge check time. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine writing that down under time. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Chai is once again asking, what is the difference between the main cam and the cinema cam? Do you want to take a stab at that? Sure. Um, the main camera is uh, an HD camera. Uh, it's a three chip broadcast uh, quality camera. Um, and it's mounted pretty much in the middle of Herc on a uh, pan tilt. Uh, arrangement uh, that allows us to move it side to side and up and down within a certain range of, of motion. It has zoom uh, and focus and uh, remote zoom and focus and exposure. I can control all those at once. The cinema camera is a similar kind of camera, uh, but it's a single chip camera uh, and is um, a higher, uh, higher resolution uh, imager. I'm not sure the resolution of that imager. It outputs a 6K signal. Uh, which is, uh, well, 2K more than, than 4K, okay. which is 4K is four times HD, so it's a higher resolution camera uh, all the way around. We're looking at a low resolution, but I can uh, put it up uh, on satellite three. We're looking at a lower resolution uh, picture from it, uh, and we don't have as much control over it. It's an experiment right now. Uh, we're developing the, the control and uh, exactly how we're going to to use it, we're going to have it on the uh, vehicle along with a couple of other cameras in a stereo pair so we can do uh, 3D post uh, imaging after the dive kind of thing uh, with post processing. Uh, so those will be on uh, later on in the season. So uh, it's an experiment right now. We're uh, just bringing it out to see how Ooh. it works. What's this? Ooh. Is that an anatomy? Yeah, it a, and it's a beautiful. It a it's a beautiful camera. It's on uh, channel three, satellite feed three. Oh yeah, that's that. It's a nice. What it? What is this that? Is stringy. Yeah. I've Can seen we zoom those in, before. Please, You've seen it before? Yeah. Well then, what is it? I think, I think it's an anatomy, isn't anatomy. it? Anatomy. Do 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 do. Those strings are. Insane. That's gorgeous. Wow. Pretty. Thank you. All right. What type Thank of an enemy is it? Do, do we know? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them before. It could be a family Relicantidae. Yeah, that's it. Relicantus. Gauge check finished. All right.
Chat says the tentacles can get up to two meters long. Is that the right a rel relicanthus anemone? Was that what it Relicanthus, was? yeah. Which is really weird we just saw that because five minutes ago when we were talking about the fastest moving creatures, someone in the chat wrote, and I didn't fact check this, that something on a relicanthus anemone was the, the fastest the moving. Medicis. The stingers. And then, isn't that weird that, that they said that yes. five minutes ago and we just saw one? Crazy. So we have to keep talking about really cool stuff. And then we'll see one. Rocks. <laughs> so, so long. There's one now. <laughs> Rob, is this not enough rocks for you? <laughs> There's no such thing as enough rocks. Yeah, Rob, I think my rock tally is up to 47,612. So <laughs> how many more do you want? My rock tally is taking a nap. In the bio <laughs> box or? <laughs> Shrimp. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I said we've seen a lot of shrimps today. Yeah. The shrimp counts at 26 for the whole dive. 26? Yeah, 26. That's including the one with the long legs that I didn't like because of its long legs. Is it including the 15 centimeter one? Oh, there yes. goes another one. Oh, an another one. Yeah, and it, it includes the big ones, the big, big ones. Big, big. Is it possible at all for anything in the deep ocean to produce oxygen? Or do you need sunlight for that? No, you don't need sunlight for that. Um, my brain just short-circuited. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of the fact that you're thinking of photosynthesis, but there's yeah. also chemosynthesis at oh, hydrothermal vents. True, true, yeah. And that relies on the chemical energy coming out of the vents. And does that it's produce oxygen? Uh, within within the system, yeah, but it depends on the type of, of microbe because some of them are anaerobes or anaerobic. So they don't, if I'm thinking of the right word, then they don't use oxygen or produce oxygen, but others do. To answer your question, yes, there is <laughs> oxygen in the deep ocean. <laughs> What's our oxygen right now? Uh, let's see. I can tell you that. Not we oh. are at an oxygen concentration of 103.76 oh. micromoles per liter. That's what it okay. says on our GUI. I thought we had to apply a correction factor later, but I guess not. Cool. Neat. Maybe that's changed. The correction factor is yeah. <laughs> so how much of that do you think is being produced as to how much of it's flowing from other areas? Just at hydrothermal vents? Here now. Oh, here now. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about the wrong. <laughs> I'm still stuck on vents. Can it's you tell okay, it's my you favorite? Love vents. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think you, there's much chemosynthesis yeah. going on here. No. But it's probably because yeah, you need the vents for that. It's probably infecting from deep water masses. Mm -hmm. There are some bamboo corals around here. And rocks.
Now, would this be more than one rock, or would it be one rock? This is a big rock. Big, big rock. These, this is an in-place flow. I mean, you can just kind of barely pick out pillows in the in the outcrops here, sticking through pillows, kind of like the the roundish features. Oh yeah, there's a. S I saw a circle. Do you guys want to? Yeah, zoom there's in? a star of some kind. Ooh, star of the show. Let's check it out. Star-shaped thing. Can we zoom in the star-shaped thing, please? Ooh. Oh, dude, good eye. Is that Brasinjit? Nice. Hope you're right. Okay. Look at the wiggle legs. Paul, are you, can you unmute and say what you thought it was again? Off your right. Whoops. Ugh. I haven't seen any lights. Is it a it's star a or is it a... It's a kinoderm. Okay. Uh, a kinoderm uh, in this group. Uh, sea cucumbers, mm -hmm. starfish, feather stars, and sea lilies are, are included, and also Urch real stars, urchins. urchins. Mm -hmm. Then there's a stalk coming up. I, I can't tell where it is in the... Oh, there it is, right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, hard to see, isn't it? Yeah. We're getting a little steeper here. Spongy debris. Yeah, spongy yeah, debris. Debris. yeah, a lot of dead sponges. We've got Woody, Spongy, Talus, and who? Uh, gauge cam, please. Bubble on gauges. Okay. We'll do oh, one sec. Uh, there we go. And I'll get a tip down too, please, so I can see that lower gauge. Perfect. Thank Some you. real nice lava tubes here. Lots of spongy debris, too. Hopefully there's going to be some sure. above here. All right, you can go back to front porch. Thank you. Roger that. Oh, see? Look at how much thinner that's getting. Hmm? See the sonar? You're the Atlanta Ooh, sonar? Yeah. It's getting much Dinner, which means we're getting steeper. That, that's a cliff. It yep. sure is. Yeah, there's a. Oh. Ooh. We can wow. do a snap zoom on that, Dave. A zoomy zoom. Sprinoid. Yeah, yeah. Sprinoid, yeah. With some associates on it. Yeah. Some yeah. Associates. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Yay. That's a good sign of life, right? Yes, it is. So for the next unknown number of minutes, if we want to have a sample, we've got to be very, very fast at telling you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a nice cliff, though. Mm -hmm. Real nice lava pillows, Trim. tubes. <laughs> 